Hello everyone and welcome to a New Horizon 5 Seasonal Summary episode. Series 6 Spring is here along with the chance to get the new 650S by earning the points from the festival playlist events besides the other seasonal rewards. Details and timestamps are in the video description while any of my tunes can be found by my gamer tag, Darksider9229. Also for more help and share codes you can always join the Discord server the Soch G Club or check the video details and community posts. With the unknown, let's dive into it and if this helps, remember to like and subscribe for more, your support is much appreciated. Thanks. Starting with this week's Forzaton, Camp Out and its 80 Forzaton points besides the 5 seasonal ones. This week you'll have to drive the 63 Volkswagen Type 2 Deluxe, which is available in the Auto Show. For the second chapter you must take a picture of your little boss. Quick and easy due to lack of creativity. With your car's memory in the pocket go and complete any event lab for chapter 3. So all you have to do is pick an event that accepts the car from the event lab menu. And complete it against any difficulty you wish. Win or lose it shouldn't matter. As for the fourth, upgrade your Volkswagen to B-Class and then win a B-Class cross-country race. Again, the difficulty doesn't matter, nor if it is a circuit or a sprint. For the fastest completion, I recommend to lower the difficulty to tourist unless you really like to drive this car. And that's it for yet another easy weekly Fozoton challenge. The festival shop has two more cars, in case you want to get them using Forzaton points instead of credits in the Auction House and Auto Show. While from the Super 7, for the first 7 challenges successful completion this week you can only get a Super Wheel Spin, so not really worth the trouble. Regarding the daily challenges, in case you have trouble with any, please use the comment section below or ask over Discord and I'll guide you through. Next, it's time for the trial, Red vs Blue, B700, Dirt Racing in Mitsubishi and Subaru only cars, for a tuning hoodie. Most of the cars are cheap this week, so I decided to go with my second favorite Subaru, after the 22B, the 2008 STI. Not as fast as the 2005 model, which has a better acceleration that really helps, but should still be sufficient. Once you get the trial, two event labs await you. For the first, trial of the grasses B700 Retro Saloons. As for the second, festival of Forza Kart in any A800 all-wheel drive car. Manage to fix the event labs not starting by clearing my event labs cache over PC as recommended over the web from the turn 10 app data folders. Then all you have to do is race and win. Luckily against any difficulty, so for an easy completion I recommend to drop to tourist difficulty as these are a bit twisty. With no other event standing in our way it's time for the PR stunts starting with Stadium Jump Danger Sign 365 meters in NES2 Extreme Track Toy. One of the cheapest options is the Aerial Atom, but many others can easily do it too. As long as you start from about 1 km away up north and do your best to avoid the traffic, while hitting the ramp at the over 290 km per hour to get past the minimum distance. Other rather cheap options are the Mossler, Radical and Ultima. Next is Dust Ball Speed Trap 217.3 km in 800 Aerial Nomad. The Nomad is an excellent off-road vehicle, so as long as you don't slide it too much in the last corner you should easily get about 10 km over the required target. Same as for the jump, 1 km or so should be enough to gather the speed from the hill up north. Lastly, Puerta Petra Trailblazer 20 seconds by the finish line in C600 buggies. This one can be difficult, unless you find the right shortcut through the woods. 
as soon as you cross the bridge, look for the window through the forest. This will help you cut a few seconds and your target should be the right side of the second biggest tree, from the left or even the third, if you get lucky and fit through the more narrow space. Then straight to the finish line while avoiding the big round barely hanging rock for about 10 seconds better than the required time. Tried out both the Volkswagen Desert Dingo as well as the Baja Bug with very similar results. Tunes can be found by my gamer tag Darksider9229 for any of the events. Next, only one seasonal championship. Street Art 800 Street Scene in Modern Muscle for a 70s Challenger. Haven't driven rear wheel drive cars for a while, so I picked the 05 Vauxhall Monaro. It should be more than enough for these only highly skilled drive avatars as long as you counter steer a bit and don't send it through the corners. Then the rather boring Horizon Tour co-op is back this week, where you'll drive together with friends or randoms against some easy drive avatars. Of course, you have to win as a team for it to count. If you're into some treasure hunt, this week we have fine-tuned. Win a road racing sprint event in any tuned car. Only having your car upgraded might not be enough, so either download somebody else's tune for a car or do your own. Say, change the tire pressure slightly and it should be enough. Then go and win any road racing sprint event with your newly tuned car. For us, the hint was automatically shown as we completed a road racing S1 Horizon Tour, in our tuned cars thus matching the requirement for this too. Then the chest can be found near the seaside. Right under the bridge. For the photo challenge of this week, we're back in Playa Azul for the third time. Take a picture with Senko's mural while sitting in your 2013 Toyota 86. The location is right on the side of Lugar Tranquilo House in Playa Azul. Once you get it the location, take a picture of your Toyota along with the mural. Next, it's time for two Horizon Open events, Spring Clean, 10 clean racing skills, while Country Charm has you complete a cross-country custom event. So, you can basically get both done at the same time. Go to the Horizon Open menu and register for a cross-country event of any class you like. We did B this time and the clean racing skills should be obtainable from the first race unless you really love wall riding. If not, complete as many as you need to gather them all. Any multiplier as ultimate counts too. Regarding the Horizon story, unless you already did it in any other past season to fully get it, you need all the stars completed. To easily do that, use manual transmission and it will be a walk in the park. This is the last week you can get it done for all the four seasons of Series 6, as it is a monthly event just like the monthly rivals. For which you must complete a clean lap in the new Ascari. That means no crashing and no rewinds are allowed so that you don't get an exclamation mark next to your name. Completing it during summer will automatically count it for the rest of the seasons too. And with that, we sum up the spring of the new Series 6 seasonal playlist. Thanks to everyone that managed to join tonight, it has been a pleasure as always. If this helps, make sure to like and subscribe for more, your support is much appreciated. Thanks. See you on Thursday, Friday with the next completion summary for the upcoming summer season of the upcoming Series 7, along with its new additions to the game and the weekly open lobby stream for the trial and other events as usual on Saturday evening. 
you'll be able to set a reminder if you go over the channel on the upcoming live streams tab. But until then, thanks for watching and have fun racing.